Okay, we're briefly going to look at photons and lasers now. All right, so let's quickly look at the energy of a photon. Now, the energy of a photon equals HF. Now, we know light travels in discrete packets called photons. And the energy of one of these photons is Planck's constant times the frequency. Okay? Now, Planck's constant is given in your formula sheet on the inside of your exam paper. And it's 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34. Now, so if you were given a question that gave you the frequency, you'd know Planck's constant, you could then work out the energy of an individual photon. Now, in addition to this equation, E equals HF, another very important equation is C is F lambda. The speed of the wave is the frequency times the wavelength. Because it's light, and we're assuming it's travelling in a vacuum, then it's 3 times 10 to the 8 metres per second. So the speed of light is the frequency times wavelength. So in an equation in the exam, you might not be given the frequency, you might instead be given the wavelength. And you would have to calculate the energy using the wavelength. Now again, you could use uh, E as HF, or you could look at the formula sheet and see the other equation is E as HC over lambda. And this comes from combining these two equations here. Because F is clearly C divided by lambda. So if we substitute C over lambda in for F here, we get that E equals HC over lambda. So if in the exam you're given wavelength, you would work out the energy of the photon using E as HC over lambda. And if you're given frequency, you'd use E as HF. Um, now this is a very, very, very straightforward equation to use. So I'll do a very quick example. For example, if an exam question said, uh, light of wavelength 650 nanometers, so red light, what's the energy of a photon of red light? So, we know that we've been given the wavelength. So the equation we pick is not E is HF, it's E is HC over lambda. So E is HC over lambda. Now we look in our formula sheet and we can see Planck's constant and C, which is 3 times 10 to the 8. So we'd say H is 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 times the speed of light, which is 3 times 10 to the 8, divided by lambda, which was 650 nanometers, which is 650 nano is times 10 to the minus 9. So times 10 to the minus 9 metres. And that will give us the energy of a single red photon. Okay, and that equals, if you use a calculator, it is 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 times 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 650 times 10 to the minus 9 equals, so the energy is 3.06 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. So that's the energy of a single photon of red light. Now, they could extend this question, look at this in the context of, say, a laser. So if each photon has this much energy, that's what it is, it's that much energy. So if we think of this red light in the context of a laser, so we're going to stay with the same light. So this time we're going to think of, we'll have a laser and we'll say the laser is 5 milliwatts. Now what does that mean, 5 milliwatts? Milli, obviously, times 10 to the minus 3. But what does it mean by watts? Well, it means it's 5 millijoules every second. Five thousandths of a joule per second, okay? So, we've got five times ten to the minus three joules every second coming out of our laser. Now we're going to assume the laser is the same wavelength as before. We'll say it's 650 nanometer light. So we've got a red beam of light coming out of our laser. And if we think about this, we know 
This laser beam is actually made up of billions and billions and billions and billions of photons. And we could be asked, well, how many photons are there given out by the laser every second? This is very straightforward. We know the laser is giving out 5 times 10 to the minus 3 joules of energy every second. And we've just worked out the energy of a single photon of this red light was 3.06 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. So we know a single photon has 3.06 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. So in order to work out how many there are, we need to think, well, we've got in one second 5 times 10 to the minus 3 joules, but each photon is just 3.06 times 10 to the minus 19. So to work out how many there must be in order to add up to 5 times 10 to the minus 3, we would just say 5 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 3.06 times 10 to the minus 19 and that will tell us the number of photons every second and it would be 5 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 3.06 times 10 to the minus 19 which equals 5 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 3.06 times 10 to the minus 19 and that would be 1.63 times 10 to the 16 every second. So there are 1.63 times 10 to the 16 photons of light given out by a 5 milliwatt laser at 650 nanometers every second.